You had an accident when you were eight years old where you fell 12 feet from a roof. But the thing that really struck me about it was that it seemed to take a long time to fall from the roof. So David, let's open up this conversation with some background on your childhood. You had an accident when you were eight years old where you fell 12 feet from a roof. So tell us about that accident and how it influenced you to then learn about time perception years later. Yeah, so I slipped off the roof and uh, and I ended up breaking my nose on the on the brick floor below. But the thing that really struck me about it was that it seemed to take a long time to fall from the roof. And so I was thinking about Alice in Wonderland as I was falling and how this must have been what it was like for her. And you know, I had, it felt like lots of time as I felt. And later when I got to high school and I took physics and I learned D equals one half AT squared, I, I realized, wow, the whole fall took place in 0.6 of a second. And I couldn't reconcile that. I couldn't figure out how those, uh, how it had seemed to have taken so long. So I got really interested in perception. I grew up, I became a neuroscientist and I've studied a lot about, um, time perception in, in my laboratory. And so one of the experiments I ended up doing then was dropping people from a 150 foot tall tower backwards in free fall, and they're caught by a net below. And I measured time perception on the way down. Um, and I, I made a series of discoveries there 